Well, hey y'all, backyard scrapping here. Um, it is time to get started on Mr. C's refine. Um, what we ended up in total with here was, I think he had 50.07 ounces AV, which are just standard ounces, not troy ounces. Um, I converted that over to grams, which ends up at 1,416.981 grams. So that's what we're starting with. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and do like contacts together as much as I can. So there's going to be different batches. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and do a, um, just a 500 gram batch of these. Because I just want to see how they're going to end. You know, what they're going to end up at. So we're going to take these big ones first. So we're going to go ahead and do 500 grams of these. Um, I'll weigh those out, and then we will go out to the little lab and get started. It is an absolutely miserable day outside again. It's about 40 degrees and drizzling rain, so it's cold out there. Um, we'll get back to you when we get out there to get these started. And I don't know how many videos are going to be in this little series. I'm going to try and keep them as relatively short as possible because a lot of you have already seen me do this stuff. So we may just do batch weigh-ins and stuff like that. I just haven't really decided yet. But okay, we have made it out to the nice, wonderful, damp, freezing, cold little lab. And what we're going to do, I'm not going to burn these off because it looks to me like this is, you know, he burned them off when he took them, so, or when he took them off the bars. So what I've got here is 500 grams of the large, looks like bus bar contacts. So we are going to do this first as our first test batch. So I'm guesstimating this entire batch is going to take, you know, seven, seven hundred and fifty milliliters of nitric acid. So we're going to go ahead and put in seven hundred milliliters of distilled water. Which, like I said, everything is really cold right now. So, there's about 700 mils of distilled water. And what I'm going to do next is just put this on the burner for a bit. I've got 600 uh, milliliters of nitric acid out here in these two beakers already. Um, I'm not going to pull the rest out until I need it. But we're going to go ahead and put this on the warmer for a while. Let it start heating up a little bit, and then we're going to start slowly adding our nitric acid and see what happens. We'll be back at you in a little bit. Okay, guys, our distilled water and contacts have heated up a little bit. It's pretty warm, so I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of this nitric acid a little at a time and we are going to see what happens. I'm going to add this really slow because our water is a little bit warm. I'm going to put it in, see how much of a reaction we get, then add a little more, put a little more, and so on and so on. Okay guys, it was, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so and I went ahead and added another almost 50 mils of nitric and you can see we're actually getting a color change already and we're actually getting a pretty good reaction so I'm going to go ahead and cover this and let you guys watch it work for a minute and then we are going to pause and get back to you okay guys several minutes have passed as you can see we're getting a nice light little color change it is blue or aqua blue not green so I'm already definitely liking that we're gonna go ahead now and add a little bit more nitric and remember nitric acid silver wear your gloves or you could end up with very black fingers we'll put about another 50 mils in here
I actually really like these new little plastic beakers for pouring acid because they don't drip. Very nice. Okay guys, several minutes has passed again and we are actually going to go ahead and just add the rest of our nitric acid and then we're going to let this work for a while. We're getting a nice calm reaction. Not getting any looks like volcano eruptions so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Okay guys, um, it's been quite a while. Uh, we're still having a pretty good reaction. Um, what I'm going to do, I've added a few doses, you know, 50 mils at a time of uh, nitric. And it is starting to really get cold out here and damp. And so what I'm going to do is add a probably another 100 mils of nitric to this. And then I may just let it go till morning, see what we have left in there. And it's actually going pretty smooth, so I'm just going to let this play out for a while. I may come back out later after dark and add another dose just depends but for right now I'm going to just let that play out for the till it you know goes down to almost stopping again and see how much material we've got left and try and figure about how much more nitric we're going to need so we will get back at you then okay guys it's the next morning and as you can see our reaction has stopped and we have just a tiny, tiny couple little pieces of silver left in there, which is just about exactly what we want. So that way we know we used our nitric acid up. And there's none left to denox. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and filter this batch off. I may save all these up into one batch and then just do one big drop. Like I said, I haven't completely decided yet. But I just wanted to show you this is batch one. It is completely dissolved. We have a nice looking fluid, so we're going to filter that off, which I'm not going to put you through that. And we're going to get our second batches going, so we'll get back at you later. Okay, guys. It is really cold out here today. I don't even know what the temperature is, but it's cold. And still no sunshine. But anyway, you saw earlier where I showed you that we had this had finished up and there was just a little tiny bit of silver left in the bottom or a piece of a contact, which is actually what we want. That tells us that our nitric acid has been spent. Anywho, so we've got that. We're going to set up and go ahead and start filtering this off. And this is our next batch, 500 grams. Now you can see in this batch, there's all different shapes. I did check them. I knew that these were bendable, they are benders, so they would completely dissolve like they did. Like I said, we have basically nothing left in here. Um, I had to go through some of the others individually, and actually you can see each one of these that's in here is bent slightly. I'm hoping I didn't get any tungsten ones mixed up in there. I did come across some tungsten, so I am going to have to sit and separate the rest of those inside. I'll probably do that while this is working, but we do have some heavy plated tungsten because they will just snap in half or break. They will not bend. So that tells me that we do have some that are not alloy silver. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this filtering, get this next batch ready to go, and then we're going to go inside and sort the rest of those contacts out and get the benders from the non-benders. All righty, we'll be back at you in a bit. Up. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick that we are still filtering. Our little funnel is full. So with this and what's in here is approximately 200 milliliters out of this big beaker. We still have a thousand milliliters to go, so it's going to be a while. Um, Alrighty, guys. Um, I did manage to find my old hand vacuum pump, so we have increased the speed of our filter dramatically. Um, we still got about 500 mils to go, but being that I don't want these videos to go too long, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this part or part one right now, um, and we'll pick up. 
part two with um, separating out those the rest of those contacts, removing the tungsten from the benders. Um, our actually our second refine is over there going pretty good. So we will tie all this together later on. I'm going to go ahead and let this continue to filter. And I think I might. I still haven't decided. I might just save all this up and do one huge drop. Just drop it all at once. But I haven't really decided yet. Alright guys, we will get back at you in part two. So we'll see you later.